this <clears throat> this world that we living in today is out of whack, bro. The, I saw this on Twitter the other day. This is very disturbing. This 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 person right here in 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 question. He must uh, he he must be he must be taken care of immediately. I'm I'm talking about not hands and feet. I'm talking about bullets. I'm talking about bullets and bombs. This nigga needs to be eradicated immediately. Off the face of the earth. This is some nasty shit. This ain't even levels of freaky freaky I I don't know. What possesses a person to be, to go to these type of lengths? But the fact that you, the fact that somebody would do this boggles my mind. The fact that somebody would sit here and actually do what this man just did is atrocious. I don't know what would make a person go to these levels to do this in public, but this is this is niggas got to be handled in, in, in the law. Sometimes street justice is the best justice. Because putting a motherfucker in cuffs and sending him to jail ain't enough. It's never enough. Some of these people need to be taken care of. This brother needs to be cleaned up off the streets expeditiously. I feel so sorry for the woman that had to go through this shit. When I first saw this video, I heard the pain in her heart. I heard the pain in her voice. And it just, it, it hurt me. Because when I heard her voice and I heard her crying, it hurt me even more. It's, it's not funny at all. It's very sad. This world that we live in, niggas, so, niggas just need to be taken care of, bro. This nigga right here needs to be found, murdered, and dealt with. I don't care. Yes, I'll promote violence today. I choose violence today. This nigga must be taken off the census immediately. Fellas, we, we got to protect the women. We must protect the women. If niggas out here is doing shit like this, we got to protect the women. And the children. If we not protecting them, who will? This is egregious. Anyway, so far further ado, man, let's get right into this video. Look, he fucking nutted on my fucking leg. I beg your pardon? You go to hell. No. Why? Here, uh, hearing that pain in her voice, bro. It, it, that, that. N niggas got to be taken care of, bro. That's that's. N niggas got to be taken care of, cause niggas got to get cleaned up out here on the streets, bro. I'm, I'm sorry, bro. No, I'm not sorry. I'm not sorry at all. Nick, Nick, niggas got to be cleaned up out here on the streets, bro. Expeditiously, bro. This is not cool, bro. I'm not fucking with it. I'm not fucking with it at all, bro. He's out of line, but he's right. It, it, niggas need to be taken care of, bro. For real. Hulk Hogan, we coming for you, nigga. Stop! He's already dead. <laughs> he's not at all my life. 
I beg your pardon? What is that? Put your flag on the play, sir. What part of the game is this? I ain't never in my life seen somebody drive by nut, let alone heard of somebody just ejaculating on command onto a stranger. What part of the game is this? The Philly police need to find this man and execute him on the spot. I need you to understand just how crazy something like this is. Take a look at the man's shirt. Homie. Look at this shit. This, this nigga was already a perv going in. The Wear these freaky ass shirts, bro. You not, you not 16, 17, 18, 19 years old, bro. <coughs> you cannot be wearing shirts like this at all. His shirt already crazy. Hairline looking non existent. And he woke up this morning with nefarious intent, unscrupulous intent in mind to go outside and bust a nut on an onlooker's leg, or I should say, a pedestrian's leg. Look, he fucking nutted on my fucking leg! You go to hell, bitch! Oh my god! Do you understand how vile of a human being you got to be to do some shit like this? Think about the amount of crazy things you've heard about in your life, and then rank this in that group. I promise you, it's got to be... It's up there. It's definitely up there. This is egregious. Be top three. This is ridiculous. Imagine navigating through your life regularly. You just happen to be standing somewhere in a bodega, and all of a sudden you feel a weird substance come upon your leg. You turn around and you see man zip his pants up and bust into a sprint to exit said store. <laughs> kill them all they all must die that's crazy bro this man does not need any form of rehabilitation doesn't need to be put into any particular kind of prison he needs to be up out of here bro meek mill of all people put out a tweet damn near issuing a hit for this man's existence if they can find him out in his city in philadelphia because this Because uh, P. Diddy be wanting to body. And you got to tell him no. Come you got to tell him no. I, I did. This is ridiculous. Do you know the kind of mindset you got to have to wake up in the morning and have a thought of, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to not brush my hair. Then I'm going to go outside publicly with my hairline showcased to the world like this. I'm going to put on this goofy ass shirt. Then I'm going to walk up inside the store. I'm going to identify my target. I'm going to proceed to begin the process of masturbation. And then I'm going to ejaculate my seed onto this random lady's leg. What's wrong with you? And connect at that, then take off running. Now go home and smoke some more crack. Somebody need to find this man, bro. This dude being the ISIS of human beings, bro. That's crazy. How do you even prepare to defend against something like this? Now, granted, you should be aware of your surroundings, but there comes a point in which something like this, there ain't no way to really prepare for this. No, you not at all. Now, people got to be looking. There is no way you could prepare for that shit. There is no way. You don't, you don't wake up with somebody willing to do that to you. You don't wake up with that mentality. Like, hmm. You know what? I should be very aware because somebody might. You don't think like that. You, you. You go into the dollar store thinking, what do I need? Let me see what I can get. And let's get the fuck up out of here. Over their shoulder for possible ejaculators. One eye open when I'm sleeping. One eye. Who is this man? Who raised this man? Who's friends with this man? Tell me! Do you hear me? No! Because damn near everybody got to be brought to the damn table to explain why homie moving this way. Now, granted, we know there are some demon-created human beings who walk among us who had no business being on Earth the same time that we just so happen to exist. But this right here, I need somebody to interrogate him before eviscerating his existence, bro. 
because this don't make no sense. We need to bring back the chair for some human beings. Because what made you think this type of shit is... We need the gas chamber. Pine oil heaven. 24-hour lockdown. Shoe program, nigga. That's what we need. It's okay. You couldn't even do this in any of the most vile video games that exist. I could tell you right now, there's not a single person who ever thought in their mind, you know, this could be a possibility. That's crazy. You mean to tell me you got to look over your shoulder for people to possibly bust nuts on your legs? Hey, yo, that's fucking sus. What kind of speed did this man beat off in inside of the store? I hope they release the damn surveillance cameras so somebody who happens to work in law would have to watch it and then bring their breakdown so we can read it in text because ain't nobody trying to watch that shit but i would love to hear what the time frame was from the beginning of the masturbation up until the ejaculation because that's some record fucking time identify your target bust a nut and then take off going that's crazy bro you don't find that suspicious ma'am you're a victim and it's very unfortunate that this had to transpire. And I recognize everybody making their jokes, but this is a very serious matter. I hope that you're able to overcome this incredibly traumatic experience. Granted, had it been me, perhaps I might want to consider amputating that leg because nobody wants to navigate the remainder of their life knowing that somebody done bust a nut in that location. I can't co-sign that big brother, but I ain't mad at you for what you do. And to everybody out there who walk in the streets of Philadelphia, Please protect yourself. Please make sure you don't find yourself in a situation like this. Now, granted, Shorty was just minding her business, and here come the nutty professor. Look, he fucking nutted on my fucking leg. You go to hell, bitch. Oh, my God. He nutted on my leg. One way or another, somebody find this man and eviscerate him. But before you do so, I'm going to need you to interrogate him as to why he thought this was a good idea. Because we need answers. We need answers. The notorious nutter is on the streets of Philadelphia. Find him expeditiously and bring him to justice. Because if y'all can't in the state of Pennsylvania, I know a man who can. Chris. Here comes the United States champion. Look, he fucking nutted on my fucking leg. You go to hell, bitch. Oh my god. He nutted on my leg. <laughs> he nutted on my leg. The pain in her voice, man. That shit, it, the pain in her voice, dog. It just. It hurts. It hurts because you feel for her. You feel for her because you, you hear that pain in her voice and she just became a victim of something that nobody should ever go through. Especially not in the fucking Dollar Tree of all places, but... Philly, y'all got to do better, man. Philly, y'all got to do better. Uh, brother, uh, what's that? What's that, brother? This just in, the man police say sexually assaulted a woman at a South Philly Dollar Tree store has turned himself in. Oh, wow. <laughs> Police identified him as 35 year old Gary Miles. His surrender happened after the It happened at the store located at Snyder Plaza on East Snyder Street on June 23rd. Police say a mugshot will be released once charges are officially filed. Fight back, nigga! Fight back. He is a no good, lousy son of a hey, bitch. Hey, That's he... exactly what he is. But he's a no good bastard for what he did, and he ought to burn in hell for it. We are the police. We 
But anyways, though, man, I <sighs> he's in jail. But we need a little bit. We need a little bit more street justice, if you know what I mean. A little bit more street justice. A little bit more hands and feet applied. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and if you and if you possibly could, you know, just a little, you know, say so if you possibly could, you know, it'd be all right. You know, nobody's going to no, nobody's going to uh, say no. I mean, we'll turn our eyes. We'll, we'll close our eyes and turn away. But it, it wouldn't hurt, you know, if there was a little bit of, you know. Right, ladies. Wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt. But anyways, though, man, that's just go about do it for this one, man. Um, I feel so sorry for that young lady, man, that had to go through that. I hope she gets the help she needs, man, because that that's that's got to be traumatizing. I I can't I can't believe that. But anyways, though, man, I will see y'all next. So till then, peace out.